Hello, this is your Auntie Pam with I-86 Stat, acting like a thundercat because I don't play that. <laughs> so, honey, let me go ahead and tell you what ended up happening. Now, by this time, now, I'm, I'm still in the Out of Character series. So, um, by this time, the place that I'm staying at, right? The thing about it is, um, everybody know me now. They know I'm the, I'm the crazy lady that don't mind about helping you, praying for you, you know, doing things for you. Mind my business, go to work, go to church, come back home. You know, I got that rep now. You know, they know not to bother me. Don't, you know, it's not that type of party. So it was, you know, I got my little respect or whatever. Okay, so little new kid. Okay, he moved in with his sister. He was a twin. So I just called him twin. Okay, so you, you don't know me like that. Like, baby, you. So. Everybody on oh, everybody having hard times because we in the project, so everybody needing help, you know. And uh, like I said in one of the previous one, baby, y'all trying to steal air conditioners and stuff. Don't make me cut up. But anyway, baby, so I guess you said it. Oh, late one night, not knowing, you know. Like I said, I got people watching out for me, watching my car, watching my apartment, watching everything, right? Baby, why you thought you was going to break into my F-150? You thought you was going to break into my truck. Right? Well, what the? <laughs> so where they do that at? Oh, my bad. Obviously the projects, because that's where I was living. <laughs> Baby, um, neighbor called me across the street. Oh, ma'am, I'm going to need you to look out the window or go outside or whatever you're going to do, baby, because uh, dude, new dude trying to break into your truck. I'm like, oh, really? Okay, so when I go out there on the porch, he ran. Mind you, like I said, the, maybe the little section we was in, it may have been 32 in the section we was in. Everybody over there, we know each other. You know, like I said, I didn't, I didn't really talk to them like that, but like I said, we everybody knew who was who and who stayed well. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so she told me who it was, who uh he stayed with, who, you know, that's the... The twins, or uh, brother, the blah blah blah, to stay in the blah 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 apartment. I'm like, oh, okay. I said, hmm, mind you, this is a Saturday night. And for some reason, it seemed like everything tend to happen on a Saturday. I don't know, but everything tend to happen on a Saturday. So, what ended up happening was, um, he had sort of cracked my door to the point where it wouldn't shut all the way. So, I had to sort of, you know, bootleg it to make it shut all the way. I said, oh, okay, so you want to damage property. All right, I got your number. So he didn't try it no more that night, I guess because I guess you knew that, you know, somebody told or you saw me, you know, come out there, whatever, you know. I'm like, okay. I go to church, come back home. He's sitting on my step. So why why you sitting on my step? Why you sitting on my little stoop? Why you sitting on my porch is what I'm trying to see. I ain't say nothing. Mind you, I had some good word at the church house. Hey, holla. Mm, glory to God. I'm talking about the good word. I said, okay. I'm like, all right. God, you just going to have to forgive me for this one. Because <laughs> I'm finna handle this situation. You going to sit down. You going to sit down because I'm finna get this one. Baby, I hopped out my truck with the bat in my hand. I put my purse on top of the hood on my truck. I ran straight for him with the bat. Maybe that thing got up and started running. I'm like, no, uh -uh, don't run now, don't run now. I said, you want to run when you were trying to break into my truck? I said, don't run now. Oh, Miss Pam, oh, no. I'm so sorry, Miss Pam. They told me to come and apologize to you. I said, that's, it's, it's funny how everybody keeps telling people to come to apologize to me. I, that's a whole nother story. So he walked back up with his hands up like I was holding a gun on the son. Now, Miss Pam, please, Miss Pam, put the, put the bat down, Miss Pam, please, Miss Pam. I was like, no. I said, because you decided that you want to try to come and break into my truck, damage my property. You living over here with your sister. You ain't got enough money to pay for my dog on truck. So it's, it's the, my door. I said, so um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take it out your blankety blank. Now, you know, then I was using you know, quite a few of the words, you know, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So I told him I was going to take it out of the blanket of blank. Oh, uh, 
baby, that thing, you can, you might well say got on his knees and was begging, please me, fam, please me, fam. No, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't know who you was. And they told me to come and apologize and blah, 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 blah. I said, oh, okay. I'm listening. Because you giving me a fake apology right now. So I'm listening. Well, we 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 on hard times. And I thought that maybe you had something valuable in your truck. And that... Baby, this is a 1999 Ford F-150. Even though I kept it in, it was great condition. You, you would have thought it was 2005, 2006. Yeah, I kept it in great condition. And that was a truck that my best friend gave me before he had died. So I didn't have to pay for that. And, but, uh, you know, knowing that he gave it to me, you know, as a gift, you know, I made sure I took care of it. And here it is, you trying to break into it. Okay. In which I didn't tell him that story, but, you know, now you giving me sob stories, shoulda, coulda, woulda, you cueing the violin, you talking about this happening, that happening, baby. It's happening for everybody over here. Why you think we here? Everybody struggling, everybody going through, everybody trying to make ends meet. And it's not meeting. But yet you want to see him try to take from people that's trying to make ends meet, really? So I went ahead and talked to him. And, you know, uh, at the end of the conversation, you know, gave him a hug. And he was like, Miss Pam, please pray for me. i never do it again. And da 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 And I'm going to watch your truck from now on. I'm going to make sure don't nobody bother and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, this all show sound for me because it sounds like the ones that tried to take my air conditioning out of the one. And they was like, I'll make sure no nobody try to take nothing from you. And then. Okay, that's fine. That's, you know, even though I know I got it, God got it. But if you want to look out for me, that's cool. That's fine. But like I told him, I said, babe, I said, if I ever catch you, and I mean literally ever catch you, if you go crazy, all time is dementia, and you just sort of forget, I'm going to jog your memory. And next time, it ain't going to be with a bag. I don't know, Miss Pam, I never again. Oh, okay. After that, we was all right. We was cool. But my thing is, yeah. I was out of character because I told God to go sit down. I said, well, I got this. And I got out of my truck and I started charging him with a bag. Instead of me, you know, walking up and being like, okay, so you was the one who tried to break into my truck. Let's have this conversation. No, baby, I was ready to fight. I was ready for revenge. Oh, I was going to bust some heads around here. But I did. I ended up having to, like I said, at the end of it, I always end up having to hug him. You know, you ask me to pray for you, I pray for you, you ask me to forgive you, I end up forgiving you because, yeah, God forgives us for doing crazy, stupid stuff. And, of course, you forgave me for telling you to sit down because I was going to handle this situation. And when I act crazy and stuff, I did too. So, you know, they just be telling you the story of me just being out of character. Like I said, at this point, I was going through a lot and I just didn't care and I was ready to shoot folks and bust heads and just didn't give a damn. That, that was just my attitude at the time. But, like I said, I understand now the reason why I had to go through a lot of that. And, you know, like I said, those people needed prayer. You know, they needed someone to be able to understand and to help them out and talk to them about God and pray and this, this, and that. But at the same time, y'all saw I wasn't playing with y'all either. Baby, I was acting like Peter around this mug. <laughs> I was a David <laughs> around here on the battlefield. <laughs> I bet you that. <laughs> oh, yeah, we we was holy. And at the same time, we, we, like I said, cut ears, cut throats. Didn't care. <laughs> God forgive me, but hmm, that was just my attitude at that time. Because I was like, they did it in the Bible. Why can't I? You know, like I said, cut up with somebody and then pray to you later on and be like, hey, um, I was going to help you to handle my enemies. But <laughs> like I said, that's not that's not how that go. But him and I were on good terms before he ended up, uh, actually, I think he ended up getting shot. He ended up getting arrested and he ended up getting shot. I can tell you what happened to him after that, but um, yeah. But um, uh, this was <laughs> your auntie Pam with I eighty six. That thank you guys for watching, like, share, and subscribe. I love you and peace.